organised by the Lions Club for people to get out and have fun and they came up with a great idea that they had not heard of a uh, championship gummy race held anywhere so they named it the World Championship Gummy Race. Gummy as we know is uh, in German and in Pigeon, uh, Pigeon English is a word for rubber. Construction of the raft, the basic flotation had to be by inflatable rubber tubes. That was a number one rule. Well, it was promoted in the uh, newspapers and uh, the Lions Club were organising it. And at first I wasn't interested, but, uh, but then I thought, well, it could be a worthwhile thing to go into, to be in the uh, outdoors and participate. I already had a raft constructed that was used in Albury for the Mad Hatter Regatta. And I then adapted the mechanism of the polystyrene raft onto a rubber tube to keep in the uh, spirit of the gummy race. I experimented with various propellers and various flow-through systems. The craft there, as you see, is uh, what eventuated and it was a very efficient craft. When I launched it and uh, I went for a run upstream against the current and a lot of people on the bank were amazed. They were amazed that I, this craft was efficient enough to actually power itself at a reasonable speed against the current. I enjoyed the, uh, the part there from the railway bridge past the Wagga Bathing Beach and the willows and the uh, scenery, the cliffs on the northern side of the river and uh, the beautiful willows just streaming down the blend of the green and the, and the breeze coming through the uh, willows. It reminded me of a story I studied in school called The Wind and the Willows. Uh, that was uh, the favourite part of the route. Basically you took the shortest uh, route that you could as you would in, uh, in any race and uh, at the uh, Wagga bathing beach we had to be careful of the shallows so we had to go out wide and uh, then come in and cut through to the willows uh, that are downstream from the bathing beach and it was a scenic, picturesque route with uh, people all along the banks cheering. I do recall there were some very innovative craft as well, from uh, things with beach umbrellas, just uh, tubes tied together with a uh, picnic atmosphere, eskies. And uh, an unusual one that I do recall is uh, a, uh, the body of a mini miner put on about four tractor tubes and just floating there, look, it looked like a floating mini. A lot of them were uh, young children just on a single tube entering and just floating down the river. I did have some people throw flower bombs at me but that was all in good fun so it just decorated the craft with white flour because they were in it for a fun weekend floating down the river and I was in it on a competitive edge to get there first. I recall uh, early in the piece I would wear a hat to protect me from the sun. Eventually I had to wear a hard hat to protect myself from paddy melons thrown off the railway bridge. And one actually landed on the port side of the tube and then bounced back up approximately eight feet into the air. So it had a bit of wallop in it. <laughs> First it was just a gummy race, a world championship gummy race, but then it turned into a week-long festival. We had overseas visitors, we had people from all over Australia competing, and uh, it was a really big event. You organise an event where you get a tube, you put a board on it, and you paddle down the river, and it draws humongous crowds. 
was a real carnival atmosphere. It would be great to, uh, to have that come back again, uh, re-experience it again.